In today's episode of Imperial Galactic Survival, I inadvertently start a cult. It's a bloody cult. I didn't mean for it to be a cult, but it's a cult. <laughs> what is going on? Go sightseeing. He's got shields, but I'm trying to see any guns. But it's really difficult. Actually, I think that's a gun and that's a gun. And collapse a poor innocent tower. There we go. Hello and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival Breaking Bad. We're starting off today uh, with the Elder's Tomb. I'm just going to run this again uh, to get a little bit. I needed more wood and more plant fiber and stuff like that. Uh, and more carbon substrate as a result. Um, but anyway, the loot we got is quite good. We got an advanced mobility boost and some money. Uh, an encrypted schematic as well, which is good. A bunch of other stuff, including magma site, which is really weird. But there we go. Pentaxid for days and stuff like that. So a good little run through um, the Elder's Tomb again. But uh, what we're going to focus on today is trying to get our capital vessel in and getting off this planet. So we're going to be going for resources again, but I'm going to take a slightly different route today. Anyway, you join me on the way to um, the dead planet in the beta system here. Now, I'm actually on my way there. I'm going via the UCH ship and I've activated the Make Contact with Terran Forces mission here because I know that uh, UCH here, they have the exploration mission, which has us gallivanting around Beta for various resources. Well, we're going to go to Beta 4 for the Sathium anyway, maybe the Silicon if we can find it. And I know that Beta 4 being a dead world is going to have lots and lots of ruins on it as well. So we might have a quick look around on the surface of the planet, see if there's anything worth taking apart. Um, so we're going to be going there at least anyway, which also means that we're probably going to be going to Beta 4, uh, for titanium, I just imagine. Uh, sorry, beta 5. For some titanium, we need cobalt as well. We probably are going to go via beta 3. Um, nothing in particular on beta 3, but I know that we probably have to go there. The asteroid field, as well as 5 and 8, probably. We'll see. I can't remember exactly. Pretty sure it's basically all the different types. So if we have a look at the different planet, we've got Baron there. Uh, you've got Snow um on beta there you've got arid and then desert and snow and dead basically <laughs> um so yeah the little survey basically we have to go around the little solar system and pick them up we just have to break orbit and then so if we don't need anything on that planet we can just go there break orbit and, and then bugger off um but also uch is a, uh, an opportunity to turn in that uh, schematic that i picked up from the elder tomb second run um, so we can have a little look, see, we've got the encrypted schematic here. I, I did bring some um, spare parts with me as well, just in case we get in a bit of trouble. We've got an emergency fuel tank generator and a core, backup fuel and, and pentaxin and stuff like that as well. And in the fridge, we've got all the medicines. I have a couple of bits of food, emergency ration that we picked up. Uh, I've re-equipped myself with the laser rifle that I picked up and the laser pistol that I've been using, really enjoying the thing. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a loadout change. <laughs> Hang on. Yes! <laughs> it's a cult. It's a bloody cult. I didn't mean for it to be a cult, but it's a cult. <laughs> what is going on? It's like they knew. They knew I was going to be here. Ah, uh, guys, well done. That's really good. I got to say, that is bot on logo replication, that is. Fantastic. You like the eyebrows. <laughs> Very nice. Well, that's a nice surprise. It's a creepy surprise, but it's a nice surprise. Creepy in a good way. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe that. Amazing. Right. Uh, I'm completely out of, um, out of sorts now. What was I doing here? Right, yeah. Um, the quartermaster buys and sells equipment and schematics. Yep. Um, I think he gives us supply, supplies as well. So if we actually... Connect to the Diggersy's Harvest Controller here. Let me go, hello. Any you spare supplies? And I yeah, will take the supplies now. There we go. Uh, lovely, jubbly. Um, what else? What do you what do you sell again? Okay, so we can sell him technical artifact, exploration data. We wouldn't want to actually use this very much at all because you know you get better use out of exploration data and other things. Um, 
So that's Neo, Titanium, and some more Pentaxid. Lovely. And a poster. Love a poster. And then this guy, he sells more stuff. He will actually sell you the Sentinel Flax, the MX-4s, and the LX-2s. And then if you pick up schematics you've already unlocked, then you can sell them here. Which is lovely. Very cool. Okay. So, um... Let's pop that in my inventory, because we're going to need that when we go upstairs. So we need to take the elevator, approach the lead researcher, and speak with the lead researcher. I mean, the approach is a little redundant <laughs> as a step. <laughs> and I just speak to. Um, you're not the lead researcher. This guy is over here. Hello. Welcome. You must be new here. I am the lead researcher. My job here is to help my overall research of the direct people. I don't know why I'm doing Freaking Team America, Kim Jong Un accent. That's probably not cool anymore. Um, <laughs> probably stop that. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> um, let's unlock decode encrypted schematic. Decode schematic. You obtain random schematic in your inventory. Uh, small Vulcan turret. I'll take it. That's UCH ter ter uh, technology. Small Vulcan turret. You have unlocked small Vulcan turret. Fantastic. That is a beast of a turret, you know. Um, the ammo is not expensive either. So that will come in handy. And a nice little upgrade for some of my little HVs and SVs. Get to small Vulcan turret. That will good, good dacker. Good dacker turret, that one. Although they sound horrible. Hello, welcome to Project Eden Recruit. You are now prepared to explore the rest of the starting solar system and beyond. Remember that you will need a capital vessel with a warp drive to go to another star system. It's always good practice to keep an eye out an extra stash of supplies. Don't get stuck. New missions have been added to your PDA. Um, okay, thank you. So, um, the UCH ones? Survey habitable systems? No, not that one. So that's going G type stars and stuff like that. Uh, now, all the main story missions up here, we can't do on the planet that we started on, but if we wanted to do them, we could just they head to Omicron and start them there, but we're not going to do that. We've done that loads of times. Loads and 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 loads of times. Anyway, I think I need to speak to the captain. Hello. Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Terry Elk. Okay. I hope you take a minute to admire the view from up here. We are studying the tidal forces between these two stars. Fascinating stuff. Do you have any missions? Are there any new missions you can help with listed below? Blah, 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 blah. Survey the beta system. Where we've been lagging behind schedule for days now, trying to adjust our sensors. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Set the mission. Okay. Much blah. Not much action going on. Let's go. Visit the listed system. So beta two or three, beta four, beta five or six, beta seven moon, beta eight, and the beta asteroid field. Alright, so I missed the moon out, but here we go. Um, where am I going? Down here we go. So doing this with just a little piddly diggity is um it's a little unusual for me, I'm gonna admit. Usually by now I've got a some kind of starter CV in. But there we go. Okay, so we've got the mission. Now beta six? What was beta what was the uh, dead planet? Beta four, right? Beta four is on the list. So let's go to beta four. Beta four. Now beta four, me in the dead world, is gonna be not only rich in resources in terms of wreckages and ruins and stuff on the planet itself, but in orbit as well. Apparently I took a screenshot. Whoops. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Now there shouldn't be any Tavira dreadnoughts or crap like that in the starter systems, but it's always good regardless to do a little pingy ping when you enter a system because you never know what Smegheads might be sneaking up on you when you warp into a sector here. And it looks like we've got three pirate vessels in this sector. Um, and I know that I've, I've peed them off before, so approaching them is interesting. What is that? Hang on. Oh, the phone. Swing it a boot, scum. What are you? I see you. You're very nearby. You're not appearing on the old detectorizer. Interesting. Now, is that the one that self-destructs if you get near it? Yeah, it is. Look, 
There's the motion sensor. Ha ha ha. There's another one just out of render, I think just there. Yeah, let me see. I don't really have the sniper rifle for this, but we have a laser rifle. Another one there, look. Now, why am I taking out motion sensors? You may ask. Well, if this is a wreckage that I think it is, then it will deploy sentry guns or, and or, explode. There's a sentry gun there that is like deployed. Now, I could probably blow the generator up from here. I think I can get a shot through. Uh, maybe easier just to blow this up. It's inactive right now. And I don't know why it's deployed. I've got to be honest. It shouldn't have deployed. Let's get a little closer and swing around to a different angle. We want to make sure that there aren't any other sentry uh, motion sensors on this thing. Do a little ping, make sure we're not being snuck up on. We seem to be okay. We don't want to get snuck up upon. I don't see any other sen uh, motion sensors around here. They're very difficult to spot, though, especially ones that are, if they're on the crates. There's that over there as well. All right, do a little scan underneath. What's that? Nothing. There, look. Well, well, well. This is thing is booby trapped. A high hell, it really is. I think that's it for the sentries. The sentries might have popped out actually because I destroyed all the motion sensors, um, and so their response was to deploy. Now I think I've got all the motion sensors and the sentry guns. Well, I don't see any like explodey blocks here. I gotta admit, it does look like one that doesn't explode. So, oh look at that! Bum 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 bum. Diggity. Bum 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 bum. Another poster. Isn't that lovely? Um, some oxygen, always useful in the depths of space. Oh, some probes like that. Money. Always fun. More money. Oxygen. More money. Oxygen. Is that it? That every box? I believe it is. Okay. Well. Oh, and some, some electronics. Okay. Well, there we go. And in there is the core and the, um, the generator. So. While we're here, we'll just make some fireworks. May as well. Came on this way. Boom. Fuel tank there that didn't explode. I mean, that is pretty lucky. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But there's seven fuel packs. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. No loot containers. It's just a little baby uh, debris field. Interesting, they don't appear on sensors at all, do they? Right, we did see... Something over off in that direction, but it might have been my imagination or just some garbage. Little pink. Are we being snuck up upon? Wow, the pirates. Oh, there they are. They're all over there. They're having a little little team meeting. All right, so let's check out. We're oh, looking on uh, for Sathium uh, deposits here. While well, avoiding the pirates. If we can find a silicon up here as well, that'd be good. But I don't know if we'll be able to actually mine it. We've got to remember. We've only got, well, less than, just over 3,000 capacity now. Uh, sorry, 2,000 capacity. Come on, be Sathium. Now, we only need a little bit of Sathium. So, in fairness, we don't actually need to mine the whole asteroid. Just enough to get sort of 600, 700 ingots. What is it? Sathium. Um, 440. Yeah. Pentax. Okay. 
continue looking. I suspect the uh, ring is a good thing to follow. Uh, we've got a short range detector here as well, so this might take a while. Bingo. Oh, and a suspicious asteroid. Let's do some diggy diggying then, guys. Alright, so drill mode is active. That turns the turret off, which is kind of scary out here in space, but it means that it doesn't clip with the top of the ship. You don't then get stuck in a hole. Um, and although this thing does still get stuck. Anyway, um, we don't need, like I said before, a lot of Sathium, so I'll grab what I need and I'll get the constructor converting this straight away. Do that. And here, and we'll just say, oh no, it can't process Sathium. Oh, that is irritating. Let's just get a like, good solid 600, I think. That'll cover it and have uh, some left over for other things. That's really annoying that the SV constructor can't process Sathium. Oh well. Sure, the container controller will hold it. We can process silicon, so we can chuck that in the factory at least. Alright, so there's about uh, 600 ingots, I think. So here we go. Let's leave the rest of that because the cargo drum is 85% full. I'm really starting to wonder if I should probably just pop home and then pop back here and check out the planet's surface, maybe. Would be a better approach. So, because um, then we can loot or salvage into the ship and then into the factory from there. There is a nice little trick you can do with the diggity here. If you generally angle the top of the ship roughly where you want it to go, and then hold space, the, um, the bottom thrusters are more powerful than the forward thrusters because there's six of them, you know, so the ship can actually lift, right? We get a top speed of 90. With inertia switched off, we can then, you know, point the ship forward and we get 91 meters a second. <laughs> Much better. A little awkward, but it works. We're back and we have warped in right next to a Xerox supply station. Zenu supply station. I have no idea if that thing is armored, but I assume it is. We're just going to give that a little bit of a wide berth there, but we have got pirate trolls right in front of us now as well. Crap really come back in at the wrong part of town here supply station could be a good one to hit if you can get like underneath it by the look of it anyway have a little look oh this is a bad time those are three pirate ships right next to each other and now they suddenly decided they're not moving anymore need to have a, look, a little look seeing the old scopey scopes here I think it's got shields, but I'm trying to see any guns. But it's really difficult. Actually, I think that's a gun and that's a gun. And there's probably ones on the underside as well. It's really difficult to see at this range. Oh boy. These pirate ships are on the move again. And they are fast. And you got a top speed of 92 at the moment, but they are fast little buggers. Haven't found that silicon asteroid anywhere. Here we go. It's just ruins everywhere around here. And pentaxid crystal everywhere as well, it would seem. Little broken buildings left, right, and center. Some big, some small. Most of it's kind of nonsense, worthless stuff. But I do wonder if that mining complex just there. There's anything good inside? It is quite sizable. Some of this stuff looks great though, doesn't it? There's constructors in this thing. Oxygen tanks, generators. Those are goodies. Can't access it. Must be a core packed here. Let's um, connect to the Diggity's Harvester controller here. Diggity. We've got some cargo. Right, anybody got eyes on a core? There it is. start salvaging. I don't want the whole blocks necessarily to fill the thing up too much. Mind you, I'm putting it in the factory, aren't I? So, 
There's another core? They're two separate ones. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Well, it's all good stuff. Antennas. Right. Oh, hang on. Damn it. Oh, I got it anyway. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, the good thing to do here, we want lots and lots of iron, is start removing supporting blocks. This thing's going to start falling down any second now. I already hear it. I think, yeah, that's a... No. Okay, ignore me. That should net us a crap ton of steel plate. Look at that. Hundreds. There we go. That should probably pick the iron count off very nicely. Alright, so leave enough blocks there for it to regenerate as well, and that way other players can benefit from it too. And that's all this stuff here. We can just shove in. So rather than actually digging holes specifically, we can collapse structures, take the components, and drag that straight into the factory. Let me do that a few times and maybe we will have the resources that we need. Not bad. All right. Press on. Um, so this one here then. There's the core. Is up there. Okay. Is there any way to get to that? Oh yeah. There. Uh, we've got to be careful here because it's a non-breathable planet. I need a spare oxygen though. Right, we're still connected. Yep. All right, let's take this apart then. Take the juice off first because the juicy stuff. Can I access that? No, I think I need to access it directly, uh, which is slightly difficult. I want that fuel. Yeah. Nice. That was a good chunk. <laughs> oh. But definitely the better way to do this is in the drone because when you're on foot, you're so much slower. All right. So, drone out. Get rid of a layer of stuff. And bring me those resources. Hell yes. <laughs> and it's fun. It's fun too. There we go. And enough blocks left for it to regenerate. Lovely. Oh, and some floaters. I'm going to say the suns look amazing from here, don't they? They look so good. Uh, and there's a whole other batch of stuff to put into the factory. Sweet. Right, let's go check out that uh, abandoned mining facility over there. Okay, there's definitely a core in this place as well. Look at all these boxes. Oh my god. This is going to take a while to bust through. Also, the doors appear to be locked. Is there another way through this facility? Or is it a case of... we got to blow our way through. I think... I think that... I shouldn't be using uh, valuable laser rifle rounds for this, really. Let's <laughs> switch to the cheap-ass minigun rounds. There we go. Alright. Eyes out for a core... There is so many boxes in here. They're all the same type, though. Oh my god, that took some shots. Oh, this thing goes... Interesting. It looks like somebody's dig, dig, dug here already. They've dug here, but the door is still intact. Oh my god. 
get old quickly. Where is the core? There it is. Bingo. All right. Give me the fuel. Let's get salvaging. Most of these boxes have got just like random stuff like this in it, um, you know, which is fine. Some of them, however, have something called salvage in them, and they're huge. The 6,000 um, PSUs each. Collection of, of assorted salvage, a random assortment of components can be retrieved using a deconstructor. Some salvage will not stack. So I can't pick these up because they're just too big. We'll need a capital vessel kind of level of storage to pick them up. I wonder what we get out of them, though. It may be something worth coming back for later once we do get a capital vessel and deconstructing those because they might actually be quite juicy. So another wreck here. And this one's very much like built almost like a, a ship or a base or something. Um, hydroponic lights but no actual bays. Armor lockers. Bridge is always fun. Um, and then the usual sort of affair I think. I'm hoping that one day we'll come across a wreck around here that has got some actually very special loot in it. For now though, I'm happy with the salvage. Ooh, hello. That I think was the entire constructor. Six computers. Am I not connected to the... I'm not connected to the damn ship. <laughs> no wonder a box full. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Now then. Ruined... Sanctuary. Furnaces. There's quite a lot here, actually. Um, <laughs> most of it's concrete, so I'm not sure we'll get the iron count on this one, but uh, salvage. No, can't fit that. I have to find the core. Well, there's a generator. Um, quite a big facility, really. Finding the core might be a little tricky. Somebody has been here before. Dugeth under this the POI. Ah, look, they knew exactly where the core was. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. That saves me having to hunt around for it, doesn't it? Pop. There we go. Okay. Now it's ours. Ours. So I wonder what the um the furnaces get us resource wise. Let's find out, shall we? It's going to get us some decent stuff, I think. Flux coils, high capacitor, uh, high output capacitors. I'm uh, salvaging because I will not be able to fit a furnace in that tiny little SV. So my only option really is to salvage it, which does mean I get a lot less. But at least I get something. I'm not there like trying to ram a freaking furnace into the box, you know? All right, let's... Um, I think we've got the wooden planks that we need now, so I'm going to be just a little bit more selective about what I salvage. So the great thing about salvaging over mining is that salvage generally contributes to more than one resource, whereas mining you're really focusing hard on that one resource. But mining is definitely going to be better, I think, when you've got say tens of thousands of one art resource, say iron, to collect. But look how close we are now. Um, we're pretty close, and we haven't done any. Copper mining, titanium mining, cobalt mining, and even satium's halfway, and all the satium's back at base. You know, <laughs> so I think that's pretty good, really. Uh, a few more POIs, and I think we're onto a winner with this. So, what are we up to? We need a tiny bit more iron. Yeah, about a thousand more copper, um, a thousand more titanium, a thousand more cobalt and 200 more satium. So it's still a ways to go. I think it's going to take a few more POIs, but um, no, get out of the drone. There we go. I think we're well on our way. I want to get that fuel over there, actually. There's uh, a few more like this with these furnaces in would be good. I'll continue scouting and anything um, of interest, I'll let you know. Oh, this is a really cool idea. Someone here has set up like a processing base. It's just a constructor, deconstructor, furnace, and some solar panels. That's really nice. And that's like 
they're going to be able to process all that salvage and scrap metal that they get from these wrecks and stuff. Very nice idea. I like that. Probably quite cheap. You can probably buy that thing or, or spawn it in from the resources that you salvage here as well. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Um, makes me think that maybe the salvage and the scrap metal and stuff that I've been seeing is worth it. I just wish I could pick it up. That's a crash DSC mid. Kind of lame. A couple of thrusters on there, but nothing really worth stopping for. Uh, okay, so service restart warning. Um, because I'm going to have to park somewhere while the server does a little restart. There's a new update of Imperium that's just landed as well. Um, but I have no idea if the server's going to come back up after this. <laughs> Honestly, I gamble every single bloody time. Oh, hello. Do a little peek, see? Uh, can't see it. Oh, there it is. I can't tell. Oh, that's a medium thruster. Straight away. Okay. That might be worth it then. So, underwater salvage. Generally, the ship will just sink into the water a bit like that. It's absolutely fine. Make sure you've got your helmet on. Uh, okay. So, have, have we got to find a core? No. All right. Good. We might actually be able to be on top of the ship to do this then. Hang on, let me uh, unequip it. But I have a, um, nothing in your hand in order to swim. Um, God, it's so murky. Basically, I have to be point blank. Uh, night vision's a little better. Reconnect to the diggity here, because I think I disconnected. I am getting hot. Stand on top of the thr thruster. Uh, <sighs> yeah, stand on top of the turret. That's better. <laughs> there we go. So we'll have a little bit of water damage in the ship when we're done. That's no, fine. I'm not worried about it. All right, this is what we're here for anyway. The thrusters have got so much juice in them. It's delicious. Okay, this is actually... Ah, there's so limited vis visibility here. It's really difficult to find thrusters. You have to basically like stumble on top of them. I know that there are... Oh my god. His ability suck. I think... Yeah, that's, a, that's an entire medium thruster there. Um, so I'm going to have to free up some inventory space just to fit that in. But that one medium thruster is going to equal quite a bit of resources. Boom. All the numbers jumped up then quite nicely. Silicon Neo done... Oh, we're so close, guys. <laughs> so close. Damn it. All in station here. And you actually fly in. And then dig down. And there appears to be a container extension here. I need to level out the old diggity here. Uh, well, tell the, tell the light. I don't actually need to. I can just jump out like this and uh, as long as I land on the container extension there we go and then easily jump back in in there uh, okay okay so how do I do this <laughs> how do I do this ah some lighting would be useful Oh, that's juice. That is juice. All right. That alone is worth digging out. How the hell do we get out of here now? I'm stuck. I don't really know how. I go in here. Let me get back out, you bastard. And we're out. Okay. There we go. That was fine. <laughs> Well, that was good actually because we got we got seven of two electronic bridges for that that's not bad that's pretty juicy okay so i am so close right now that i have come to beta 5 which is snow planet so that i can diggy diggy some titanium now at the moment i am short titanium cobalt lithium something i know that i've got back at base so i'm not too worried about that the titanium I can get from either digging this deposit here or salvaging something made out of hardened steel. Um, although I have just come across the crash titan at these uh, titanium deposits. Um, I think, to be honest, I'm going to mine 
titanium I can. There we go. And uh, get this. The cobalt is probably, again, best to get from a deposit. Cobalt exists in some advanced sort of um, components and stuff like that, but yeah, it's taking a long time to get it through salvage, so I think I'm just going to go and hit up a deposit of it. Anyway, I can get this turning into titanium ingots here. So we've got 300 ore. I just put on. Yeah, that'll do. And you get to enjoy that wonderful constructor noise, guys. Don't worry, I'll cut the video here. <laughs> well, you've returned to base. I've returned to base. We need to get um, the Satium processing, actually. So let's get this guy working on that. We're going to need a bunch of that. But otherwise, there is... Where is... Uh, hang on. <laughs> there's the cobalt. Mm, there's the titanium. And uh, there's more cobalt in there as well. And a little bit more titanium ore on the... I can't quite see it right now. There it is. Yeah, titanium ore. Down there. I could have said by item type, but it seems to be put these two ores down here for some reason. Anyway. That is 400 cobalt, which we probably only need like 200 of that. Oh, so close. There we go. And the 700 titanium. No, oh, so close. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's a little titanium cobalt left over, but obviously, yeah, we got some more processing to do there with that. That's fine. And um, we just need that 200 or so satium. And that's it. Now, guys, we managed to pick up um, some bridges and matrices. There we go. 13 bridges, two matrices, which possibly means that I can actually upgrade my ship as soon as I bring it in with an improved extender or two. Let's see if we can get one in. Capital vessel, improved extender. Do we need to unlock it, actually? I thought I had already. Yeah, CPU improved. That might require an advanced constructor, in fairness. Let's see. And a base constructors. Advanced is unlocked. Upgrade requires steel plate, all that stuff. Connect to that. And it looks like four motors and 50 cobalt alloy is missing. Uh, well, let's see what we can do about that as well. See if we can. There is a talent attack going on at the moment, so I'm ignoring them. We can make the cobalt alloy in here. So we need 10 of those. Should be the 50. I'll have to process some uh, cobalt ore, but that's fine. And the motors. Four motors. Easy enough. Two, three, four. And there we go. We have a large constructor. Now, um, I'm just going to stop it for a second. There you go. Boom. Probably going to tank our CPU, but we're okay, actually. Just about. Just about okay. Wow, we got the CPU. Uh, okay, so how much safety was that? 150. We need a little bit more. So just go ahead and process a little bit more and then see if you can work on two, because that is eight large bridges. How many do we have? 13. Okay, so we can get one, and I don't think we've got the gold to make more. We'll get one improved. That's pretty good. That's going to give our new ship some great CPU to upgrade it straight away. And it really does need the upgrades. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit weak in its default form. Only 38 Satium required. There we go. 38 Satium. Boom. Start production. We have our starter capital vessel ready to spawn in. Now we just need to clear the area. <laughs> After bloody Talon again. Okay, that's all the shamans dealt with. Ah, I think it's night time. Be much better to show this thing off in the daylight. <laughs> well, thankfully, I'm not alive. So there's always the edit. <laughs> Where the hell is it so far down on the list? Here we go. The RFO1 Tenacious, ladies and gentlemen. Um, This is the capital vessel I built on Chilling and Building recently. If you missed the live stream, check it out. And you can see how this papa was absolutely not what I intended to build. So... <laughs> 
And that's it's true. I did not intend to build a Star Trek ish ship, but there we go. It happened. That, that's that's what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put in some fuel here. Uh, we've got 31 fusion cells. That'll do. There we go. And I'll see if I can get this thing level. <laughs> we can actually have a little tour around. But we can see here a little bit. We've got nacelles here on both sides. They're identical, but you can see huge holes in them with the truss blocks. It's basically where the, uh, the large thrusters go. Um, then we've got medium thrusters on the left only at the moment. Oh, actually on the rear as well. Um, but only two. And again, that's where a large thruster goes. So there's lots of upgrades to do uh, thruster-wise. Because this thing is just a single CPU extension at the moment. Um, let's see if we can get a better view of it in one, once we're inside. But sort of smallish hangar bay. And for a first CV, she's actually quite big, I suppose. Um, 18 plots. Large constructor. Armor and stuff. Armor lockers and whatnot. Base up there for extra shield chargers and generators and stuff like that. We've got a little maintenance corridor here into the shield room where we've got a compact shield generator and more space for chargers and capacitors down the side. Um, if we look back and up these stairs, everything's a bit on, weird on a wonk at the moment. We've got a sort of uh, transit corridor from one side of the saucer section to the other where we've got some um, docking airlocks in the sides for space traversal. Um, and then in the front we've got a couple of crew quarters which are nothing special, just usual bathroom and and whatnot. Um, and it's the same on that side as well. So if we go up, then we've got full medical. Yeah, and we've got some storage ammo containers and stuff on the left there. Finally the bridge. So let's bring this thing level, shall we? Thrusters on. There we go. Obviously, don't have a landing pad or anything right now, so it's a little bit tricky to get this thing to land anywhere. <laughs> anywhere sensibly, at least, anyway. Uh, maybe just about enough room right there. We hang that. Like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. The stabilizers will come down. Well, yeah, there we go. There's the ship. That is it. I put it the tenacious because it's tiny. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite vicious when it's upgraded. So turn the thrusters off again for now. And that's probably going to rock a little bit. Let me off. There we go. Um, it is a tiny little ship. But yeah, we've got this kind of weird hole here because of the way the glass is here, the whole block obviously. Um, and when you put the big shield generator in there, it kind of sticks up here. So we've got this plating over the top, but uh, yeah, a little gap because of the heavy glass. And let's have a little look, see, out the back here, another airlock, and there's a little SV landing pad, perfect size for the diggity or something. But I wanted to show you around the front here. The drone's got the range, it does not, okay. Got little solar panels like that, just hidden on the hull, all over the place, um, just giving sort of passive power. The thing with CV solar panels, they don't actually need to be exposed to the sunlight. They just give a kind of an ongoing passive power amount. Anyway, so on the front here, what we've got is a bunch of antennas that are all placeholders for things like mining drills or artillery cannons or something, laser cannons, something manual fire weaponry. You see I've got the uh, detector exposed on the front just for funsies. And then underneath as well we've got spots for extra turrets there. You can definitely get another one there and there as well. Um, so you can get four turrets on the on the bottom and you can get four turrets on the top if you're willing to sacrifice this kind of like trench that I built here and just flatten it out. Um, you could probably fit another one back here as well if you wanted to. So there's plenty of room for uh, about 10 turrets, manual fire weapons and stuff like that and doesn't include sentry guns. There is um, room in the nacelles if you're cut cut through, I think cut through one of these blocks here. 
oh there it is yeah i put an x x marks the spot on the nacelle on the outside if you cut through that block there you, uh, you get empty space inside the nacelle for extra generators um so when i built it it was built with uh full kind of upgrades so i know you know you need an extra two large generators and an extra small generator to run a, a, a large shield generator on this thing with all the thrusters upgraded and you're good to go it doesn't include advanced warp drives and things like that so be careful i suppose when upgrading but um there's there's little bits of space like here for extra generators and things like that um only one constructor small constructor that's it and this guy here can be switched out for a harvest container when you've un unlocked it but as it is the tenacious is a level 12 unlock capital vessel pretty light really pretty light once it's fully upgraded though i think it's going to be a bit of an animal uh, because i know that the thruster performance on this thing is pretty decent when they're all upgraded being out on the nacelles and stuff really helped with uh with sort of pitch yaw and roll statistics and with thrusters on at the moment we got 33 roll 14 yaw and 33 pitch which isn't bad for a capital vessel but this was up in the 50s and 60s with the full thruster upgrade so yeah okay well there we have it the tenacious is in what i now need to do is empty the base dock the ships dismantle what i want to take with me and hopefully this thing will lift off um but we need to upgrade its cpu its thrusters do a load of work to it as well before we leave i think and hope hopefully we can avoid another talent attack so <laughs> this thing doesn't get hit by bloody spiders and dinosaurs before it even takes off right there there we go uh it'll be on the workshop uh in a little while it's not currently on the workshop because inevitably when i build these ships and then take them into survival games like this i then find problems things i've missed issues that need to be resolved uh so i will do a shakedown cruise with it make sure it's okay before i put it out on the workshop but it will be on the workshop do not fear ladies and gentlemen that is unfortunately all the time i have for today i hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the the new ship uh we'll have a little bit more of a look of it next episode once it's um slightly upgraded and ready to go if i have a look in my um base boxes already i've got two large thrusters and the cpu ready to go so you get an extra couple of guns on it make sure it can defend itself and then uh yeah we're off shari we are leaving this place and the bloody talent <laughs> pesky buggers <laughs> in any case thank you so much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye